Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Sydney. I film cruelty-free beauty videos. Um, today's video is going to be, well, the intro is going to be a little bit different than normal. This is the first video that I'm posting. The week of silence that I've decided to partake in, um, I mean, I'm sure you all know um, everything that's going on with the Black Lives Matter movement and when this all came out, I had already had a couple of videos pre-filmed, posted, ready, scheduled, ready to go, so I let those videos go up, but when Monday rolled around of this next week and it was time for me to share a Will I Buy It video, it just didn't feel right to me. I didn't feel like with everything going on, I could in good conscience share my makeup content like I normally do. I just felt like there were so many other things that were more important to devote my time to, devote my watch time to. Um, and so that's what I've taken this week of silence to do. I, I've really spent a lot of time this week trying to educate myself on how white privilege has affected my life, how systematic racism is very prevalent in our country, and ways that I can become an ally to the black community. I'm never going to understand what they're going through into my black viewers. I'm never going to understand what you're going through, but I'm trying to educate myself and be more aware of it. I'm kind of just disgusted with myself that I've gone this long in my life and not really understood what they go through every single day and and so I felt like it was really important for me to just stay silent on social media this week and instead make room and share resources for those who are really sharing prevalent information and important information on this movement and other educational resources. I will link some resources down below that I have found especially helpful this week so you guys um, can have those to look off of as well. I'm also going to today um, put a highlight on my Instagram story on my Instagram page to save all the information that I'm sharing over there so it doesn't disappear after 24 hours but I just felt like I really couldn't hop back into my regular content so I thought a good way to ease back into it without completely forgetting what's going on in the world around us and there are a lot of amazing, not only black owned beauty brands, but black owned companies in the world and there have been a lot of lists circulating around Instagram lately where people are sharing those. So I'm going to list and link websites to, to some other black owned businesses down below if you guys want to share them. I'm making this video an effort to not just be anti-racist, but to be an ally of the black community. I hope, ugh, I'm so nervous that I'm saying everything wrong, you guys, but I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to educate myself and do better, be better. And I wanted to create this video in honor of that. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a handful of brands as well as some products from them that really, really caught my attention that are owned by black men and women. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited about it. I love filming wishlist videos like this. You guys have seen countless ones on my channel before, but I thought doing one centered around black owned businesses would be really timely right now and a really great way that we can support the black community in the long run. So. This has been the longest, most rambling intro ever. Let's hop into the video. Alright you guys, so the first brand I want to talk about is so exciting to me because it's actually a mother-daughter duo behind this brand and I think that is so sweet and so cute and it is Amore Monet Cosmetics. So this brand was founded by Amore Monet. She was a makeup artist for 13 years and the main focus of this brand from what I can tell is mostly lip products. In the about section it said that Amore saw a need for long-lasting moisturizing lipsticks in the marketplace so that's what she created and she has some really 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 gorgeous colors on her website. I've been on the hunt for my new favorite liquid lip formula. As you guys may know the Physicians Formula Healthy Lip Liquid Lipstick used to be my favorite but Physicians Formula is no longer cruelty free. Um, all the brands that I'm going to mention today are cruelty free by the way um, but Physicians Formula is no longer cruelty free so I'm on the hunt for my new favorite liquid lipstick formula and and I think that she has some really, really gorgeous colors that I would definitely like to try. Um, the first one that really caught my attention is the shade Apathy. She describes this as a matte mauve shade, and I just think it's the prettiest, like, everyday pinky nude shade. Um, then the other shade that really, really caught my attention, I think this would be so, so pretty for summer, is the shade Lady. It's, like, the most beautiful, vibrant matte orange shade. I don't know if I could quite pull that off on my skin tone. Oh, but it's so so pretty you guys. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Her liquid lipsticks do retail for $20 a piece. These liquid, li liquid lipsticks do retail for $20 a piece but I just thought it was a really interesting concept that they were moisturizing and long lasting because I feel like that's a really big trade-off with liquid lipsticks. Either they're long lasting or they're moisturizing so this sounds like a really great formula that I'm really interested to try. Next brand that I wanted to chat about is Danessa Myricks Beauty. So Amy Loves Makeup also recently did a video on this brand so I will link that video down below if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about the brand but she's actually who I discovered this brand for. I'd never heard of Danessa Myricks 
Netflix, but as soon as I watched that video, I followed her on Instagram. I checked out the brand a little bit. And it was obviously founded by Danessa Myrick. She's a self-taught makeup artist, if you guys didn't know, which I think is so, so cool. There were a couple products that really caught my attention from her line. Um, the first one is the Vision Cream Cover. And this, I believe... Eh, this is described as an all-in-one foundation and concealer created with the latest te in texture minimizing technology to model the art of perfect skin while defying age, concealment of skin conditions such as hyperpigmentation, and the ability to cover uneven discoloration while appearing like gorgeous skin. I believe this is the product that Amy tried in her video and it looked so, so beautiful on her skin, you guys. I also really, really like this brand because they actually offer sample sizes of their foundation so you can kind of color match yourself before you take the plunge and buy a full size because the full size is $28, so it's a little bit more expensive. But I'm definitely super duper interested in that. Um, another product from her that I'm super interested in is the Dew Wet Balm. It's described as a lightweight translucent highlighting and hydration balm for an instant glass skin fresh glow infused with jojoba oil and other hydrating and skin softening ingredients. I'm all about the glass skin look right now, you guys. I mean, look at my cheeks right now. They're super glowy, but I'm not mad at it at all. I've been on the hunt for a good skin gloss or like an eye gloss i guess you could use it for both probably um and i think this one looks really really cool something that kind of stuck out about this skin gloss is that it actually comes in a multitude of different shades so there's the regular like clear one there's a pinky one and the several other shades as well so i thought that was really cool and really different and then the final product that really caught my eye when i was going through their website is their waterproof cushion liner Honestly, I was just super attracted to this one because it looked like the most beautiful cobalt blue liner. I'm so into colorful liner right now. I actually have navy liner on today. I guess that's not crazy colorful, but I love the idea of like a cobalt blue liner. I think this would be so cool. And this one is supposed to be waterproof and immovable when dry, which is a huge, huge plus for me because especially towards the end of the day, I start rubbing my eyes and forget that I have makeup on and then I have like a raccoon wing. So I'm definitely interested in that as well. Next brand up is Josephine Cosmetics. This brand is vegan as well as cruelty free and they have some really pretty like avant-garde promo pics on their website as well as on their Instagram. I just thought it was so so pretty. So there were two products that really caught my attention from this brand. The first one was their Eye Dazzle Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. The promo photos on this one totally got me you guys look at how beautifully metallic and textured that looks i'm just drooling over it and then the shade that caught my eye specifically is giselle it's like this beautiful berry tone i love berry eyeshadow you guys if you didn't know that about me i love 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 berry eyeshadow and i would love to have something that looks so foiled and metallic and textured in that kind of liquid eyeshadow form I'm also really interested in their I Define 3, the waterproof eyeliner trudeau in the bright variety. I, I'm on a bit of an eyeliner kick, you guys. I never thought I'd say that, but I think I am. And I just really, really love the shades in here. Again, there's that beautiful bright cobalt blue as well as that really pretty berry tone and a purple. I think it's really pretty. Next up, we actually have a nail polish brand, and I'm really new to the indie nail polish world, so if you guys have any other indie nail polish recommendations, leave them down below for me. But this brand is called Nash & Pino, and it's a 10 free and vegan formula nail company. Honestly, for a really long time, until like, light slacker became a thing and kale polish became a thing i wasn't even really aware that there were like super disgusting toxic ingredients in my nail polish and i would really like from now on to invest in nail polish that doesn't have those ingredients in there so i think that is really really cool this brand was created by alicia williams there were a couple really unique beautiful colors that caught my attention so i wanted to share those with you all the first one is called isavab i feel like a dork every time i say that because that's just like not in my vocabulary but it is the most beautiful like teal color i feel like this color is so pretty for like summer and even into fall a little bit so pretty so bright i just love it i think it's so cute and then carpe denim really caught my attention as well partially because i just love the name i'm a sucker for puns and i love like a deep navy nail i don't really have a true navy at least not a cream navy i have one from kayla polish that's a bit more of a shimmery metallic navy especially if i layer it over like a deeper blue shade um but i think that this one is so so pretty i'm a sucker for navy anything so i would love to try this shade so much and then the final one that really caught my attention is the shade caramel macchiato this one specifically caught my attention because i know a lot of people really loved i think it was called peanut butter from kayla polish and this one looks so so similar so if you guys were really into that shade definitely check this one out it looks super similar it's like a 
dirty mustard yellowy shade like mustardy tan shade i think it's so gorgeous these nail polishes do retail for 16 dollars a piece but they are absolutely gorgeous this next brand i was really really excited to discover because all of their products are actually formulated for acne prone and eczema prone skin so if you guys don't know if you haven't spent a lot of time on my channel before i struggle with acne a lot my skin's been better as of late um but i've struggled with acne for many many years and i don't usually go for makeup that's aim toward acne prone skin because i'm like well i just wash it off i guess i don't really need it to be like a treatment product and a makeup product but i think that it's a really cool concept to have a little bit of skincare in there or formulate things specifically for acne prone skin so of course the first thing that really caught my attention from range beauty was was their true intention hydrating foundation um i think this just sounds so good i'm so into hydrating foundations right now i feel like one big misconception if you have like acne prone oily skin is that you shouldn't wear hydrating foundations it might be a little bit harder to pull it off but i think hydrating foundations look really really nice on the skin even if you do have a little bit of texture even if you are a little bit oily there are some ways to get around that um but i thought this sounded so so cool and i thought a foundation that had ingredients that would be good for my skin would be much more impactful than like a blush that has good ingredients for my skin so i was really really interested in this one um they do have a pretty good shade range it retails for 21 dollars, and i'm just really into that one and I wanted to read you guys the claims really quick. So, why it's the one hydrating foundation formula that nourishes and protects the skin. Calendula and cornflower extracts have antibacterial properties to treat and prevent eczema and acne. Chamomile extract acts as an anti irritant in that soothes the skin. It contains kaolin, French clay, which keeps oils at bay. It has a sheer to medium coverage, which I am so all about right now, you guys. I love buildable coverage right now. Sweat and transfer proof, which is absolutely huge in the summertime, especially if I'm a little bit more oily things kind of slide off my face if i'm not too careful but i think that is really cool too it's 100 percent cruelty free and never contains paraben talc sulfate phthalates or synthetic dyes and fragrances i think that is so so cool i love the claims of that foundation i am super duper into that one this brand also does have foundation samples available i don't know why all like online makeup brands don't have foundation samples available that makes so much more sense um but if you guys were curious about whether or not it would match your skin tone that's definitely a great route to go and then the other product that really caught my attention from this brand is the true intentions bronzing primer i'm pale you guys i am ridiculously pale and i'm always looking for a way to give my skin a little bit of warmth give it the sun kiss glow and this primer really really caught my attention it says that it restores the radiance for a healthier feeling and looking skin it has a hydrating formula and it also contains antioxidant vitamin e to protect skin from free radicals which i think is super cool i've been on the hunt for like a bronzing primer for quite a while so this is definitely one that i'm really really interested in trying I also wanted to do this video, I know this is kind of like a random spot to throw it in, but I also wanted to do this video because I do actually want to purchase some of these products eventually. I'm on a little bit of a no-buy-ish right now because I'm not able to work right now with everything that's going on with the pandemic, so my state hasn't opened up all the way yet, so I'm not able to go back to work, but I thought kind of coming on camera and talking through the products that really caught my attention would help me really narrow down what I want to try from these brands, because unfortunately I can't buy everything, even though I would really love to, so I thought this would be a fun way to kind of narrow down my wish list as well. The next brand I want to share is September Rose, and I actually had no idea that September Rose was owned by a person of color. Um, I've seen them floating around around the indie makeup world for quite a while now, but I did want to kind of give them a shout out because they are owned by a person of color. So the two palettes that really caught my attention from their brand were first the Brew eyeshadow palette. I remember when this one came out and I was like, that's really pretty. I feel like it's a fun take on warm tones. I see some like greeny golds in there, some really beautiful oranges, like that beautiful mustard yellow that we all love and that gorgeous deep burgundy. I love this palette. I feel like it screams a fall from the rooftops and while I don't think I'll be purchasing it right now, if I'm looking for a new fall palette in a couple months, I might come back to this one. I think it is so beautiful. And then my friend Eyes of Alexandria raves about the slush palette. I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. It provides such a range of like rainbow tones and I think that's what makes it really unique. I feel like a lot of rainbow palettes, they just like hit each shade one time and they're like, yeah, we're good. But I feel like this shade provides you pastel options, deeper options. And what I really like about this palette is that it has like I said, those deeper options with those shades. So like, let's say I want to do a monochromatic like 
yellow or green look. I have the greens in there to do a super light green transition and green outer corner and just play with them and manipulate them in other ways that other rainbow palettes don't necessarily allow me to do. Okay, the last one I'm going to chat about in today's video, because I know this video is already super long, is the Lip Bar. This one is one that's been on my radar for quite a while. I just haven't gotten around to trying it, and this was kind of like my excuse to deep dive into the brand and really see what they had to offer. So the Lip Bar is actually a Detroit-based brand. If you guys didn't know, I'm from Michigan, so that was a really cool thing for me to see. They're sold online as well as in a lot of Target stores. I've never seen them in a Target around me, but I need to go find them in a Target, or they do have a flagship store in Detroit. So maybe I'll have to swing by there next time I'm in Detroit. But they are a vegan and cruelty-free brand. It was founded by Melissa Butler. And you guys, there are so many beautiful products in this line that I didn't even know existed. I'm so excited to share them with you guys. So the first one that, I, that really caught my attention was actually their Everyday Eyeshadow Palettes. I've been on this weird journey where I'm like getting really, really into really tiny curated palettes. And they have some really, really gorgeous everyday eyeshadow palette quads. The one that really, really caught my attention was, was this one with like the purples and the reds and the mustard shades. This color story speaks to me so much. It's not really a color story that I would think to pair together, but I love the overall effect that it gives. I think it is so incredibly beautiful. I love how textured those metallics look. I haven't really heard much about the Lip Bar's eyeshadow formula, but I am super duper into these and I would really like to try them. The other product that really, really caught my attention was their Fast Face Skin Serum Foundation. I've been on the hunt for quite a while now for my perfect kind of light to medium coverage foundation that's like really mindless to apply or I can just kind of slap it on, blend it with my fingers or a sponge and run out the door. I did try the ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer i think that broke me out though but this one i am so so into it's 20 it retails for 28 dollars, and it's a skin serum foundation infused with hyaluronic acid for skin that looks like skin comes in with a built-in brush for your convenience i know some people are gonna be like oh there's a brush built in that's gross but i actually kind of like it i think it could be nice for kind of just applying the foundation but not necessarily blending it in when i use a super light coverage product i tend to either go in with my fingers and kind of spread it out or with a brush and spread it out and then go in with this sponge to really press it into my skin so i actually kind of like that i love the claims of this foundation so so much and i'm definitely really really interested in it they have a wide variety of lip products you guys they have lip liner they have lip gloss they have like lipstick they have regular lipstick but the thing that really caught my attention is their lip gloss and specifically the shade first lady and their lip glosses retail for $14 a piece, which is really reasonable in my opinion. Um, but what's the coolest part about their lipstick is that they're actually their cleanest lip product. So they're super pigmented and 80% organic. 80% organic. I think that's really cool. A, I feel like it's kind of crazy that most lip products aren't 80% organic because we are putting those right next to our mouth. I'm sure we're eating at least some of them. So I think that is incredibly cool and I just love the shade of this gloss. It's like my perfect everyday neutral nude shade. And then the final product from the lip bar that really, really caught my attention is their Travel Bug Flat Fresh Glow Duo. So this is a duo with a bronzer and a blush. I believe they're both a little bit shimmery, a little bit luminous, which again, I'm all about the glow right now. I cannot get enough of shimmery blush and shimmery bronzer. Um, so for me, the shade that they recommend, I believe, for lightest skin is called Travel Bug. Um, it looks like it's a beautiful kind of golden tone bronzer with a peachy blush. That's right up my alley right now. The compact is so beautiful. I love, I know some people don't really love like face duos or like face palettes, but I am all about like a multi-step face compact type product. I love it when it's all right there when I don't have to reach into something else. And I think these two products look really, really beautiful. This little duo does retail for $22 if you guys were interested in purchasing it. But that is actually the last product I want to talk about in this video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. I hope you found a couple of new black-owned brands to support. As I said before, I'm going to list and link a couple of other black-owned brands down in the, in the description box. Well, it's going to be more than a couple, spoiler alert. Um, but I hope that you guys will go check those out as well. I hope this is received in the way that I'm intending it to be. My heart has just been breaking over the past week, week and a half or so, over what the black community has to go through every single day and through educating myself and becoming an ally of them. I really hope to change that and change the systematic problems that we're having in our country. I feel like I'm just nervously rambling at this point, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that we can all come together and 
really make the changes that need to be made because really the reality is just incredibly heartbreaking. But I'm gonna stop blabbering on. I hope this video is not a hot mess like I feel like it is right now. I hope you guys are understanding the message that I'm trying to convey. I'm gonna stop blabbering on and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.